would jolt them in the right direction for sure. Bradley's got more experience on this stage on a Saturday night. And he's been to two finals before. And he's got a lovely start there in 15 darts. Well, it might just be a dart at the ball. It is going to be a dart at the ball to get the break of throw. Beautiful dart at the ball there from... Bradley Roos again in 15 darts. That means he's running at an average of 100 here. And Jensen's got half of Coventry in the crowd tonight. How much they would all love this shot. Double 18. I like that play. The 10 or the 6. Game shot on the third leg. Likes that Jensen even more. Walker. First ton plus check out of the night. Goes to the interceptor. That's a dream marker. Game and a wonderful a shot. Bradley the fact that he won Group A gave him the darts in this first game of the night. For me, Matt, he's got to take full advantage of Sixth that. Flag. And he's still it's trying to figure to out who's thrown first. next. To not just get his first two points of the night, but to get it with a two-leg cushion. He's finished really well. 54. But the match starts are missed. Jensen, you he require that check He's checking it again. It's still not in Bradley. It was a really well-thrown dart. I, I didn't think he could come inside that first dart without going in the double, but he found a way, and now Jensen could find a way to take us all the way. Game shot six Last lap lag. for these Jensen two. Walker. That's 20 minutes. Double 10. Game he finally gets match. over the line. He is not through yet, but it's a decent start for the person who won Group A in the first three days of this week. He's smiling, just about. But the man in the green and lots of other colours has got himself his first two points of the Week 3 Finals here at the expense of the Interceptor. So, Jensen smiling as he leaves the stage. We'll be back with our first game in Group 2. Cold in his extremities. Game shot on a first leg, Andy Hamilton. Maybe not. That's an opening leg break there for the hammer to equalise. It's the double he wanted to leave. And it's the Game double he takes. Flag, Jeff Smith. Match opportunity for Jeff Smith. Double 16 this time. Game shot and he does and indeed win Jeff four Smith. straight legs in this one. He keeps Andy quiet for now, but Andy knows that at taking that 2 0 lead, he had a huge chance to get his first foot into the final four against possibly his biggest competitor on this night. Evo Lexma will play against Andy in game number four. 83 after 12 is a solid effort. And he said it. He needs to hit his doubles a little bit better tonight. Game shot on the first leg. And he finds David the Cameron. button against Jensen. And this is an opportunity for Walker to get his throw back. Game shot oh, the there you go. Leg, Jensen, Jensen finds the button himself. Just has to cash in on double 16. Well, it's getting a bit more awkward. Creating the angle from the right-hand side Game and finding the, the bottom leg, of the bed. One of the darts of the night. He's been hit hard the last couple of legs. Is Excalibur going to hit back Game shot with an 11 flag, darter? David Cameron. David, you require 98. This is visit number eight. It's not a visit that Dave thought he was going to get. And he could break Jensen's heart with double 19. That will Game sting a, fifth flag, a lot. David Cameron. Jensen had time and wasn't able to take it out. Cameron's got time. And it's tops. Game That's shot. remarkable. Match, what a Cameron. display on the finishing. Not the first time this week that we've seen someone go four from four on the outer ring. But Jensen Walker is the first person eliminated from the week three finals. And it all goes down to that penultimate leg where he missed a bucket full of darts at tops and tens and ultimately fives as well. But look at that from Cameron. But he may not get a look. Game shot on the first leg, Andy Hamilton. Andy Hamilton's in the building, by the way. I'm all hot, aren't I? Oh, it couldn't have been much better that first start. 
Come on, Andy. Give us a big fish on your birthday. Oh, that's Hamilton. a belter. Happy birthday, bud. A and Group C campaign. Okay. He's left double one again. Game shot on a four flag. There you Andy go. Hamilton. But he should be getting one at tops. One at tops for the match. Game shot. And, and Andy Hamilton is through Andy to Hamilton. the final four. He's done his job. As for Evo Lexma, he's still got a lot of work to do. You can see what that meant to Andy on his birthday. Well done. We'll see more of you post 10 o'clock. As for Evo, we'll work out what he has to do when he plays again. This is plan B, double 16. Game shot on the four flag, Bradley Roos. Getting a little bit, sits on the top wire. This might be a top stops attempt. He's found a way past. Game Superb finish from Cameron. David Cameron. Very much like Jeff Smith. He's all about the finishing. He's not a power scorer. He will think, it's okay, I'm through. However, he might not win the group. And he doesn't, because he's been broken in the last leg by that young man who has now won two groups this week. He won Group A with 20 points after Wednesday. He has won this group as well, and he will play in semi-final number one against the runner-up in Group 2. Speaking of Group 2, it's played by humans, not by AI. That's a bad dart. That's a brilliant one. That's an extraordinary finish when you consider how bad the first door was. Out the door. Trusty double 18. Game shot on the third leg. You've got another Canadian in the final four. I understand why you tried for the 180, but a single 20 leaves you with no finish. But that's a wonderful finish from Jeff Smith. It's the old reverse 147 from a 4 1 victory. Double 10. Game shot. And the Wonderful match. display. Yes, he didn't start the game particularly well, but my word, did he finish it well. That's a great performance from one of Canada's best ever players. He wins Group 2, and he's going to take on his countryman, Dave Cameron, in the semi finals. Because he's getting better and better as the intensity of the situation increases. Game shot on the first That's leg. a wonderful Bradley leg of darts. Bruce. You don't want to be thinking about numbers at this stage. You think about the job. Double ten. He remains visit perfect. And a 3-0 lead for Ruse in this match. Double five. Game he masters that one, match. and he's going to have another Bradley crack at a weekly title. Bradley Roos won Group A earlier in the week. He won Group 1 a little bit earlier tonight. He has won the first eliminator. We'll see when the final young man. As for Andy Hamilton, it's happy birthday. But unfortunately, this Saturday night does not belong to him. Never done anything like that before. Always goes 18's first on 102, does Jeff? Loves double 18, and that's why. On second leg, Jeff Smith. He leaves it more than most. That's a wonderful, creative finish. Perish the thought. Perish the thought of a 137. That's Game seismic, that finish. Leg, My word, that's a biggie. He's had a bigger one tonight, but that hurts even more what could be the last leg of the semi-finals. Double top. The Game finishing the match, has been David extraordinary Cameron. from David Cameron. That 1-3-7 finish on the back of Jeff Smith's misses at double 18, double 14 and double seven. That's what changed the game. And ultimately, Jeff was left with too much to do. Your week three final is going to see a new winner on the trophy. It could be that man who's very happy to make it to the final. Double top. Tens have been good on the whole, Game and they the are once leg, again. Whereas Dave Cameron is playing in his 27th. 
game and he's a little bit leg. younger as well by 35 years be getting back that form of earlier on this evening game shot on a third that's much leg. better David makes in roads seeing a lot more players go this route game and why wouldn't leg. you Bradley because double 10 has been his best friend all night long the way that David Cameron's double has been going this evening, you don't expect to see him miss this opportunity, and he doesn't. It is one of the big legs that he's going to need. Game it's a dream! Shot. And the Moda Super Series, week three champion, Bradley Roos! He is in Champions Week. He is joining Reese Robinson. He is joining Conor Heenahan as his mum rushes to the stage. Bradley Roos. Bradley Roos. You have finally got over the line on a Saturday night at your third attempt. Just explain how you're feeling right now. Uh, yeah, I have no words actually to say right now, but uh, finally, my first, first time I uh, won a final, finally. So, uh, yeah, really happy. How did you feel the first two times you were here when you lost in the final? Uh, yeah, the first one, uh, I actually played really, really bad against Neil. And the second one, uh, yeah, I was a little bit gutted to lose that final because, yeah, I had some uh, chances I didn't took. But, uh, yeah, today I feel all night really good. And uh, I was 3-1, I think 3-1 up. And then, yeah, to see that double nine go in, yeah, literally unbelievable. Did the experience of the previous finals help you tonight? Uh, yeah, I think uh, it helped me uh, tonight because uh, I tried to stay calm the whole night. So, uh, yeah, I think the experience now for the third time uh, really helped me uh, today. You were smiling <laughs> after you missed the double 18 before you went for the double nine. Did you know you were going to hit it? Uh, yeah, I actually thought the double 18 was going in it, but uh, luckily with my first dart on the double nine, I hit it. So uh, yeah, I was uh, really happy that I won the final, finally. You m must feel really happy tonight, not just because you've won the weekly title, but the fact that you've actually got family with you too. Yeah, my mom is with me all the time. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy that she's with me and all the support of the other people. So uh, yeah, actually, can't describe in words what I'm feeling right now, so uh, yeah. Well, your mum is actually si sitting very close to a series champion in Jim McEwen. That could be you in just over two months' time because you're coming back at the end of May to try and win the £25,000. Yeah, I hope so, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, proud that uh, Jim was looking to me uh, tonight. So, uh, yeah, it helped me at a couple of moments tonight. So, uh, yeah, thank you to Jim that uh, he was uh, coming here to see me play. Was there one moment this week where you thought that you really had a chance of winning? Uh, not actually, but I think after the semi-final tonight against Andy Hamilton, it was a really good semi-final. I, I told myself, like, I don't want to lose it three times in a row. So, uh, yeah, I pumped myself a little bit up uh, for the final. And luckily, uh, I got, got it over the line. I'm not sure about luck, Bradley, but if you look at your week in stages, you've played 19 games and you won Group A. You won your group tonight. You won your semi-final and you won the bullseye to play in the final. This week couldn't have been any better. Uh, no, not actually. But uh, when I first saw the group, uh, I thought uh, by myself that it was, was going to be really tough because I saw Jim in it, David. So, uh, yeah, I knew uh, I, had, I had to play good to actually make a chance and yeah, to get it over the line in the final. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself that I achieved it. So, uh, I think a lot of people are going to be proud of you tonight, including the Netherlands, because you're the first Dutch player into the Series 7 finals. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it feels really good to uh, make it uh, over the line for the first time for me. So uh, I hope there will be more Dutch players uh, joining me in Champions League. But uh, yeah, 
I literally have no words to say, actually. Well, let the words end and let you get your fingerprints on the trophy. I'll take Thank that you. from you. Your week three winner is the Netherlands' own Bradley Roos. Yeah, fabulous moments for Bradley Roos. A family affair as well. His proud mum clapping along. The makeshift mentor, Jim McEwen, also in the audience there. Matthew Eggers alongside me. Um, look, what a fine young moment for a, a fine young man. Fantastic for him, wasn't it? We've seen him win those world championships on the junior tour, but this different because this is now in the, the adults game, the main game. This is probably going to be one of the biggest titles he's picked up so far. And it gives him an opportunity to go on now to Champions Week where he's going to be playing for £25,000, a sizable amount of money that could really change like the destiny and what access and things that he's got to darts and a real big stepping stone there. I mentioned on commentary that I felt like we were watching a player sort of evolve before our eyes and certainly in that final, the way he managed it and controlled it, really, really good sort of evolution of a player. I don't think we've seen a player stay on stage for so long, getting pictures with a trophy and everything. It just shows how much it means to him. And all of his other fellow players in the group, Andy Hamilton, now David Cameron, they all seem really pleased for Bradley Roos. I think it's the fact he's tried and failed on two separate occasions. He's been in this position before. And when you get into that position, then games get very nervy. Even being ahead, he'd have just wanted the job to have been done rather than sort of seeing David Cameron come back, which did look likely at one point David Cameron was starting to hit back hard. So again, that evolution of the player that we saw, to be able to resist that with the negativity he's had in the previous experiences, fantastic there from Bradley. Absolutely. Paul Nicholson's just joined us now as well. Uh, we were just saying, as you were making your way upstairs, Bradley's still on stage, holding the trophy, really proud of the achievement. Uh, it just seems like a landmark moment for him, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it probably means more to him because of uh, shortcomings in the past. And I think it tells us an awful lot about this young man because lesser players would have continued to come up against these challenges and maybe fail. I really worried for Bradley tonight if he came up short again because you don't get anything for free in this sport. But he's shown that he's got tenacity and resilience and you need that if you're going to have a career. I'll tell you what, that group of lads have just taken a selfie with Bradley. They travelled down from Sheffield here to Portsmouth to watch tonight. A lot of people are really buying into this buzz of finals night, aren't they? And it's, it's making it a moment for players because Bradley Roos um, is winning in, in front of a, a decent little audience here. It makes a moment even better, doesn't it? I've been here for the last three weeks. Three really good weeks, three really good nights. And they really are starting to pick up in terms of the atmosphere and the vibe that we're getting here. One thing I really do like is just that sort of close-knit interaction that we're getting, that instant feedback, but such a respectful crowd that we always get down here at the Super Series. And it's bringing the Saturday nights on. It's bringing in regards to what the players are doing and what's coming out of those and the emotion as well that is really being injected into this now because it's transfer of energy. We, we saw that tonight as well with Bradley Rose in that final with seeing his mum in the front row and she was getting nervous. She was looking away at times, but Bradley looked like he was trying to calm her down rather than the other way around. He sort of come to the back of the stage, gave her a little smile as if to say, look, don't worry. I'm I've got this under control and that exchange of energy, it's just great to watch. Right, let's just dot the I's and, and cross the T's and guide you through what's happened on the whole this evening. So here is the story of the night. And it was a night that, look, Jeff Smith went in as favourite, started well that 4-2 win against Andy Hamilton, got even better um, against Evo Lexima. But full, full credit to the runner-up tonight, David Cameron. What a performance from him, not just tonight, but all week. Yeah, it's, it's been a hard slog uh, for Dave at times. The finishing is something that probably Matt and I won't forget for a while, but he just didn't seem to have enough left in that final game. And it may have come down to the engine in the end. I did worry for that a little bit earlier on, but some of the moments he created this week, we won't forget those in a hurry. And you know what Dave's like. It, he was so magnanimous in defeat there, raising the arm and clapping his, uh, his, the person who's beaten him in the final. And it's just typically Canadian, very friendly towards the end. He wanted to win, he didn't. He just moves on to his next challenge, which I'm sure is Virginia Beach next week. Apart from those two, who takes the most away from what they've experienced tonight? You've got to look at someone like Evo Lexma. 
and Jensen Walker. Two players there who are on debut. They haven't really got a lot of experience. I mean, Evo's not really played much outside of his, sort of his hometown, and Jensen Walker's not played much in general, only been 17 and only picking the darts up recently. So they'll take a lot from this, and they'll have learnt a lot, and they've gone through an experience. We know what Jensen Walker wants to do. We've, we've had a chat with him in the week. He wants to go to the very top. But I think Evo may need to reevaluate this. I'm um, just a part-time, I'll get the darts out when I want to, because... I think he's shown some real good signs this week. And maybe they've got a little bit of inspiration to take from Bradley Roos. Maybe they could have that moment of lifting the trophy on that stage. If he can, why can't they? If you work hard enough, you can be the last person standing at the end of the week. We do hand out a cheque and uh, the trophy at the end of every Saturday night. Some people have done it multiple times. Everybody wants to do what Steve West does. Pretty much every time he comes here, he picks up the trophy. But some other people have different journeys. You must have to keep knocking on that door. And I always say, if you knock on the door constantly and it, nobody answers it, knock it down. And that's exactly what Bradley did. And that will be inspiring to others. There we go. If Paul Nicholson knocks on your door, make sure you answer, <laughs> by the way. Um, look, it, it is all about Bradley Roos in the end, isn't it? Um, we'll, we'll finish by one final word on him. What could this do for his career and his confidence now he's finally crossed that line? Oh, this could be everything to Bradley because being here was everything to Bradley and he wanted to come back and he wanted to put it right and he has. He, he had a goal, he had a challenge, he had something he wanted to overcome and he had and 19 years old as well. So real good signs and what it's going to mean for him moving forward. I don't know where he's going to put his focus in regards to is he going to go WDF, is he going to try the, the PDC? I think at the moment he dabbles in, in lots of various things and I think this might just give him that one thing to focus on for a while, which now is Champions Week. He can mark his calendar, he's got a date to look forward to, he's got something to prepare for and something to build towards. I think the last couple of weeks have told us a very interesting story. Conor Heenahan had multiple times in finals and didn't get there. Bradley maybe was inspired by Conor. Who's going to be inspired by this from Bradley next week? We will find out. Thanks, guys, for joining us tonight. It's been another fantastic finals night here at the Super Series. And as just mentioned, it all gets underway again from Monday morning. 9.30 a.m. Week 4 begins on the Modus Super Series YouTube channel. But on week 3, it was Bradley Roos who ruled the roost.